Uh, well, actually, I mean, I would not, I won't be participating today. I actually had a track meet yesterday, and uh, I mean, they're real good in that. It just felt like I wouldn't have been 100% today, so I'm just out here, you know, to watch and uh, you know, cheer. Actually, my brother's out here, uh, running back, just cheering on, cheer him on, and uh, kind of mentor him. So that was one of my main goals today. Uh, the hundred, uh, two hundred, four by one, uh, and long jump. And, uh, you know, won all of them uh, yesterday. So you know, I was real proud about that. I mean, you know, is it, is it tough sometimes balancing track and football? It definitely, but I mean, I feel it's definitely tough. You know, especially during the week when I'm training for both football and track. Uh, but I mean, I feel like at the end, it's all going to pay off, especially with helping my speed. Um, I know that track, you know, it's always going to help that. And so that's one of my name. That's my number one goal: get faster. And then you know, when when do you you know make the switch to go all football? I mean, you know, once the season's over, I mean, how do you go about switching to just you know football training? You know, getting getting into that mode. Well, first, I mean, I used to run AAU track during the summer. Um, I was always a track person, but since you know my recruiting's got real busy. Um, football during the summertime is just I'm 100% dedicated to football, and so I'm training about six with six days a week, and uh, straight football, and then, uh, and especially during the football season, uh, I'm not just doing like the regular team practices. I'm training after practice, you know, just to stay at the top and stay above everybody else. And so I guess during the springtime is the only time where I'm, uh, you know. Uh, actually training for track and uh, football. Maybe not putting most of my time in football, but. Okay. You talked about recruiting getting crazy. You know, just you know, come and give me a little quick overview of how recruiting's going for you. Um, it's been great, definitely a humbling experience. Um, I mean, it's been <laughs> crazy over the last couple of, uh, you know, months. I've uh, picked up a, a lot of offers from I mean, great schools all over the country. Um, I mean, some of my recent offers uh, was Ohio State, Auburn, uh, Oklahoma, uh, uh, Stanford, uh, Clemson, and so. Do you, do you feel pressure though being a Georgia guy to you know, stay close to home, or I mean at least stay in the South? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess one of the, like the main things that you know I've kind of talked about with my family uh, is that I mean it's not necessarily what school is closer to home, what if they want me to stay home, because they just want me to you know, go play, go somewhere where I can definitely get the best academics possible and then athletics as well will follow behind that and so they don't mind me going anywhere across the country so I kind of you know agree with them so it's not necessarily a thing of you know staying home or trying to be as close to home as possible. Now you mentioned Ohio State got on board recently you know you got some plans to go up and visit the Buckeyes soon? Uh, yes sir I'm um, actually uh, spring break for us is not is in about two weeks and I'll be going up to visit uh, then. Do you have any ties to the state of Ohio? Um, my mom lives up there actually, so uh, yeah, she. I mean, she's definitely a, a Buckeye fan, and uh, you know, we're we're gonna go be taking a visit up there together. And you mentioned a minute ago that obviously you want to find a school that's the right school for you, but I mean, having family already up there though could, could be something that may play in, in Ohio State, you know, an, an advantage to a certain extent. I mean, yeah, again, like I mean, I feel like every school's at an even playing field. Uh, I mean, definitely if. I'm looking for a school that's great like, academically and athletically. So, I mean, if any school that can provide that definitely puts them at a higher pedestal. So, um, definitely you know, when I take my visit, I want to get a closer look at, uh, you know, at Ohio State just to see if uh, they have what I'm looking for. And uh, I've already talked to Coach Meyer plenty of times. And, uh, I mean, he's told me with his words, and I trust him. I just want to, you know, see it myself. I mean, what, I was going to say, what, what – Kind of talk about what's important to you. What, you know, what's Ohio State saying to you about you know how do they project you at the next level? I mean, you know, what 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 are they what are they talking to you about? Um, I mean, I guess I know. I'm, oh, first of all, I'm getting I know I'm getting recruited as like a cornerback, but uh, you know, I'm starting to like I guess get a little bit bigger and uh, um, I may be playing safety this year. And so he said when I was talking to him, he said I remind him of Von Bell. And so I have a great uh, uh, connection with him, with Von. And uh, I mean, he said if I you know do uh, do what I'm supposed to be doing, like throughout my senior season, uh, I can possibly go through, go there, and hopefully you know earn a position or earn a starting position. But it's it's not going to be uh, easy. <laughs> What, what, I mean, you said you have a relationship with Vaughn. What has Vaughn told you? I mean, he went, maybe threw a little bit of a rough first year, wasn't seeing the field a lot, but obviously last year was a big year. I mean, 
played a big role on the national championship team. Right. I mean, he just definitely said it takes a process. It t you have to have patience, you know. Uh, one thing that, uh, you know, he struggled with is that making sure that it's, it's a faster pace, a faster pace of the game, you know, in college and so from high school. And so once I get there, I need to just make sure, like, I am hit the ground running and, uh, you know, be as competitive as possible. And, uh, I mean, so I definitely took those, those uh, that advice and those tips to, uh, to my heart. And so that's what I've been thinking about for a while. So that's one of my number one goal to wherever college I go to, you know, try to get that starting position freshman year. Last question for you. I mean, I know we're sitting here, I mean, it's March. What's kind of your timetable? I mean, do you want to sit there? Are you a guy that wants to get it done before the start of the season? Are you a National Signing Day guy? Have you not even gotten to that point yet? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure yet, but I'm definitely a. I'm. The chances of me, you know, committing before National Signing Day are pretty high. I'm just not sure when. Um, but yeah.